Yo, what's going on guys, I'm back with another video and today I am on Rainer's XV, which is a brand new RFPS. This RFPS isn't actually released to the public yet, it will be released the 15th of June, which is just in 4 days from now. So definitely make sure you already join the Discord, because of course on the day of release, there will be a bunch of events and giveaways going on in game, so therefore you definitely need to be in the Discord of the server, the link will as always be down below in the description. Also definitely make sure you join my community Discord as well hold up before we continue today's video i want to take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video today's video has been sponsored by runad runad is a brand new rsps voting platform that's growing extremely fast so make sure you get your server added and start building votes for your server today the link is down below in the description so make sure to check them out once again i want to say a massive thank you to runad for sponsoring today's video with that enjoy the rest of the video now Rainer's XV is actually a custom 317 RSPS that has been in development for quite a, lo uh, a while so it has quite a lot of unique features that I will actually go ahead and showcase. In my bank I do actually have quite a few armor and weapon sets as you can see I got quite a few different tabs. Now each weapon uh, and armor set has a different element you have the fire you have the water and then you also have the ice element. Of course each element will have different benefits uh, that will be attached to it for certain bosses as well so I'll just go ahead do a real quick time lapse of showcasing all the armors and weapons that I have in my bank uh, so you guys can see what they look like. Alright, so there you go, that were some of the armors and weapons, of course these were only the top items that you can get in game, I wasn't gonna showcase some mid tier or low tier, uh, low -tier items, so um, yeah, those were the three uh, different element armors, anyways, we also got this teleport interface, as you can see, you got like city teleports, you got useful teleports, you got some monster teleports in here, um, as always, you can also see the drops right here, as you can see, these monsters actually drop some of the armors that I just showed off, um, like the infer the flowing lava armor and all that good stuff so that is pretty sick as well and of course in the useful teleport you also have this gambling zone which you can teleport to and of course where you go to the gambling zone you can gamble your bank away so let's go ahead and do that real quick all right so we are at the gambling zone i got myself 10,000 one bill tickets of course because the server isn't yet released to the public i will be gambling against the oper michael right here um, so yeah, you just cl right click gamble with and then you will be able to gamble. Alright, so as you can see, once you actually accept the invite both, you have this super cool interface. So let's go ahead and put in 1000 of these tickets. Um, and then, oh, I should scroll up. And then I select a game. We are going to do Dice Duel, as you can see. But you can get any of these other games. You can also pick a random game, so it will be a complete surprise. So good luck to you. We will both roll, and I rolled a 68, which means I won the first round. Anyways, moving on, I rolled a 42, and here 53, which means it's 1-1. Um, 34, 43 for me. There we go. Let's go. Let's just take this home. Let's get a final one. There we go, 75, uh, 4, we beat him, and um, there we go, we made ourselves a bunch of money. I think he bet 10,000 instead of 1,000, but I'm going to take it, I'm just going to take it. Anyways, let's go ahead and showcase some others like flower poking. Every, everything on this gambling, by the way, is completely, but then completely um, scam safe. It's all automatic, so that is completely uh, fine and awesome. All right, so here we go. We will be doing a blackjack duel. He will be hosting me. So um, let's see. I rolled a four. Oh, I am actually the host. Oh, I thought he was the host. Okay, my bad. Um, but anyways, I rolled a 43. Do I hit or do I... St uh, well, he has to hit or stay. Um, let's see. He hits. So we hit an 81. Oh, his total score is an 81. Or wait, what? Oh, no, no. Okay, I, I have no idea what's actually going on. Uh, my total score is 81, so I'm going to stay, I guess. Um... Okay, so I have one. I think he stayed on 43 and I was just getting confused. But there we go, we just won another dice duel. We are making some stacks, man. 
All right, so let's do one more gamble and we will do it for a flower poker. We are doing it apparently versus a water minigun or something. So um, yeah, that's pretty sick. Let's see the flower poker works. Oh, we are planting. We should have faced another way so I can't actually see what I'm planting now. Uh, so I have no idea what I'm looking at. I think I'm looking at one pair. I know he has only one pair, so I have no idea. Uh, it's a draw, which means we will have to replant, I suppose, or get our money back and then redo the gamble. Um, but yeah, it's bad to stand next to each other because the plants will always go west so face another way because uh, otherwise we'll have what we just had all right so now we will be playing abc flower for the people who don't know the person with the closest letter in the alphabet wins so i got the purple which is of course uh, the p is of course closer than the um than the y so i managed to win easy but anyways, there are still a few more games. I'm not going to showcase every single gambling game that you can do on here. But I think all of these games are actually pretty awesome. And the system is so good to actually go ahead and gamble. So I really like this. Alright, so as you can see in my inventory, I got myself an infernal minigun, got myself a few build tickets, 1 million build tickets to be exact, also got myself a few scrolls of efficiency. Now of course that is to upgrade your items, as you can see Rick is an item upgrader, you can find him at the home area, so you can just go ahead and talk to him. Click on the item you want to upgrade and then you will see the requirements. So for the Infernal Minigum, I would need 350,000 one build tickets together with two, uh, three scrolls of efficiency to upgrade to the Water Minigun. Of course, this isn't a 100% success rate. So there we go. We just lost our Infernal Minigun, which is quite sad. Anyways, for the rest, you still have like player owned shops at the home area. You also have the makeover mage right here at the bank. And then uh, you also have some shops and all that good stuff. The home area is actually custom made, which is pretty cool. Anyways, that is going to be all for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to enter the Discord, my community Discord as well, and my Instagram. Um, the links, of course, are down below in the description. Once again, the server is releasing in just about four days so make sure you are one of the first players online to get your grind on and to become one of the richest players there will also be a bunch of giveaways and events once the server actually goes live so definitely make sure you participate in those to get yourself some easy free start rewards and to give you that head boost in the game but anyways that will be it i apologize that today's video is a bit shorter than usual but it is what it is man anyways i'll see you guys in my next video peace